Due to the war, ICI Billingham had to grow. They looked around the area for somewhere new to go. Down the road at Wilton was perfectly thought. The area had salt reserves and lay close to the part. In 1946, they brought the site and work began. Staff moved to Wilton Castle and started to plan. First came roads and sewers, both crucial to the site. Hundreds of men worked through the day and sometimes through the night. Over many years, Wilton grew with vigour. New factories and plants were built as ICI got bigger. Pipes and tunnels, structures and lights, working every hour. They even built a power station to make their own power. In 1956, Wilton had a special guest. The Queen herself came out to see industry at its best. Using coal and oil and salt, water, gas and air. A huge range of products are manufactured there. Wilton makes ingredients used in factories worldwide to make many things around us, in our homes and outside. The plastic used in cockpits for our planes in World War II. And many man-made fabrics worn in clothes by me and you. The perspex plants a critic sheet for signs and baths and sinks. Wilton even make the plastics used in bottles for our drinks. Polythene for packaging and perfume products too. They even made the product on the sole of your shoe. Nylon, perspex, corn and soap, a few we owe to ICI. Which pioneered so many things used by you and I? Into the new millennium, ICI had moved aside. Wilton welcomed companies from all the whole world wide. Truly international are the companies on the site. Taking the famous Wilton name up to higher heights. The Wilton site has given us so many useful things. When it comes to chemicals, Wilton International are kings. The Wilton site has changed the lives of almost everyone. Let's hope they keep on making things for many years to come.